Oh, right, here's some proof that feminism is psychologically and mentally bad for women. This is a study uh, posted back in 2013. It says, stay-at-home mothers are happiest. Women who don't return to work suffer less from feelings of boredom and worldliness. Exactly. Because when you do things God's way, it always works. Full-time mothers feel more contentment than career women. And it says, findings will put further pressure on notorious treatment. Obviously, this is like from a while, from a couple years back, so obviously not up to date with the political stuff. With the Tories treatment of married couples. Survey also finds that married people are happier than singles or cohabitees. You know, I picture that a woman holding her baby. Because again, when you do it God's way, it always works. When you do it the world's way, it never works. Not just not just like not just to please God, but actually for your own health too. Uh, Stay-at-home mothers are more likely to th- uh, think their lives are worthwhile than women who go to work. A study of national ha- a study of national happiness suggests. They tend not to suffer from boredom, frustration, or feelings of worthlessness, worthlessness, according to the research on Britain's well-being. Full-time mothers give the value of their lives to a score of 8 out of 10 compared to 7.8 for, for, people, in work, yeah, sorry, for people in the workforce. Data also revealed that married people are significantly more co- contented to cohab- than cohabitees and much happier than single or divorced people. The findings will add, further add pressure to the government to change the treatment of married couples where only one partner works. Couples with a full-time mother pay higher taxes in Britain than almost every other Western country and lose out, or than every other Western country, they lose out in badly in the benefits program, uh, particularly over tax credits. And the coalition's drive to get more mothers to work has produced even more disadvantages. Under a new policy, parents will be given uh, 1,200 euros a year, or pounds, sorry, not euros, pounds a year for each child under the age of five to help uh, with the cost of childcare, only if both parents are in work. Because again, when you, do it, when you do it the world's way, it never works properly. Yesterday, a report from the Office uh, for National Statistics on Personal Well-Being ordered by David Cameron looked at the happiness of people who are economically inactive, the class into a, uh, which a full-time others fall. It says, uh, so again, when they're economically like not in the workforce, uh, basically they're more happier. And this is like full time others, they fall into that category. Uh, while they'll stay at home, uh, scored uh, the worth of their lives higher than those who go to work, scores for happiness, life satisfaction, and anxiety levels were broadly the same. Yeah, because you still, you still have a, you're still a human, so you're still going to have like normal thoughts. But the bottom line is, when you do it God's way, it, it's actually like not just pleasing to God, it's psychologically better for you. Sorry, close that notification. So yeah, it's not it's pleasing to God, yeah, but it's psychologically actually better for your mental health. Close that notification. Uh, the ONS figures do not break down that reveals whether men or women who work are happier. Get men are happier when they work, because men their job is to work. A man's job is not to be at home with the kids. His job is to work. That's why he's happier in the workforce. Uh, scroll down. But the findings show that married people uh, and cohabitees are much happier than single people. Again, getting married is God's plan. It makes you, it's psychologically better for your mental health. And you know, a picture of this uh, Catholic priest, which again is not Christianity. Roman Catholicism is, is, it's a pagan cult. It is not Christianity. So, but again, you know, you have them blessing the marriage. And then you go down the article. But you get the photo. I mean, you get the picture. Sorry. Uh, feminism is psychologically bad for women. Uh, as for 70%, gave the satisfaction to at least, uh, oh yeah, I didn't. I already read that. I, no, I didn't read that. I didn't read the full context of that. Sorry. Again, this is not scripted. This is just me talking. Uh, unemployment have also been falling since late 2000, 2011, and job vaccines rising since early 2012. Yeah. So the bottom line is, is that feminism is actually psychologically bad for your health. So if you're a woman out there, don't be a feminist. You don't need feminism. You need to, you need to follow God's plan, and you'll be mentally happier. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.